hey guys what is up it is destiny and i'm here again with another video so long time no see i know i'm just gonna give y'all my spiel about how i haven't made a video in forever but for today's video i'm going to be talking about the transition from sonography student to new grad sonographer just to give y'all a little bit of background i went to ultrasound school from 2020 to 2023 and if y'all been following my channel, y'all have seen my videos about my journey and everything. Um, I started working at a hospital in June of 2023. And, you know, I'm still a sonographer. I've been a sonographer for about a year and a half now. And I'm honestly, I'm loving it. It's so fun. I'm seeing a lot of new stuff and crazy stuff all the time. And it always keeps me on my toes. And I'm just really proud of how far I've come in just a year and a half and everything and i really wanted to make this video because i feel like not enough people talk about that transition from sonography student to new new grad sonographer or really you know what it entails that transition like really the truth behind it or people just don't verbalize it enough um so i just thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to talk about it so if you guys would kind of like to hear about my experience um that i had while i was transitioning from a ultrasound student to new grad sonographer and some tips and advice about that stay tuned so y'all like i just said i have been a sonographer for a year and a half now um, i work at a level one trauma center i do inpatient outpatient and procedures as part of my job i mainly do inpatients and procedures um but yes so um i graduated back in may of 2023 and i had a job lined up right after graduation so i had a job lined up at a hospital when i first started out my schedule was monday through friday a tip that i have um as a new grad sonographer or when you're like you know looking for jobs for your big girl sonographer job um you can't be picky about what schedule you want i knew coming in to my field this field that i couldn't be picky i kind of just had to get what i could get because i was a new grad and so you know when i applied to be a sonographer at the hospital that i'm at now i was offered a monday through friday position so i just had to take it because i was like you know what? i can't be picky i'm just you know thankful that i was offered a position at this hospital so when you're starting out you know don't be picky about your schedule you know at the end of the day you know just be happy that you're getting a job because it's really hard to get a job out here. Just keep that in mind, you know, when you're looking for jobs and everything that don't be picky, be really open minded. Um, and yeah, but I no longer work that schedule now. I do work a different schedule. I do 312s now. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit of update about my work schedule. So if y'all see me looking down, it's just me looking at my notes so I can stay on topic. But as far as the facility that I work at, I did have clinical rotations through there. So my transition was a little bit easier just because I kind of knew how the workflow was, the type of exams that I was doing or that I was going to start to do. So it was a little bit more easier for me. It was, yes, it was hard, but it was a little bit more easier for me compared to other people coming into that facility and they had never had a clinical rotation or did throw those types of exams that that hospital does so the hospital that i work at it's a level one trauma center we see a lot of crazy stuff the patients are not in good shape and we do a lot of difficult studies so the facility that i work at we do kidney transplants basically any transplant kidney liver pancreas we do a lot of doppler studies and we just see some crazy stuff like those patients it's stuff that you wouldn't even imagine like it's some really crazy stuff that i see on a day-to-day -day basis at that hospital and you know coming in as a new grad you can't let that discourage you there were times where i felt so defeated because when i first started out I felt like I didn't know how to scan. Like, yes, I did have clinical rotations at this hospital, but like, you know, being a student at that hospital and then being a sonographer at that hospital, two totally different experiences, honestly. Like, it's one thing observing as a student, 
but when you're the one when you're that sonographer scanning that patient and your initials are going on that exam it is such a different feeling like once i graduated and then i started working i was like okay i'm not a student anymore i'm actually a sonographer and like this is actually really scary because you think about it as a student you know you have somebody checking behind you you know you have that extra level of support like you have that cushion you know you know if something goes wrong you got somebody that can back you up somebody that can help you but you know as far as like a sonographer you know it's kind of on you for the most part like you know you're scanning by yourself you know your name is going on that exam and it can be really stressful like when i started out i felt like i could not scan like these patients were so hard i didn't know what i was looking at and i just felt so defeated because i'm like did those three years of school not prepare me for this like like what is going on and you know I, I felt like that for a couple of months because I just felt so discouraged because I was like, I know my anatomy. I know this ultrasound information. Like, I know ultrasound, okay? It's just like, it's just these patients are just so hard. Like, what is it that I am doing? But with time, you are going to build your confidence. Like, it took me a few months to build my confidence and feel comfortable in my skin. Like, even a year and a half into my career, I am still building my confidence and building my skill. But don't get discouraged, you know, when you first start out. I mean, it's naturally gonna occur, but just, if you just have a really good support system and you have a really good team, I just feel like, you know, that transition will be a lot more easier for you. Some of my colleagues really helped me a lot, you know, when I first started out because when I first got hired, you know, I was trained, you know, I, they were teaching me, you know, the different studies and everything. And if I needed help with the scan, you know, I would just call them on Vocera or just, you know, let them know like, hey, like I'm in this patient's room. I need a second pair of eyes. And that's another thing, y'all. Do not struggle. Do not spend a lot of time on just one organ or one thing. If you can't see something, if you can't find something, skip it and then come back to it because you will literally spend forever on the same thing. It can be really discouraging because it's like, man, like I just can't get it. But the thing is like, if you need help, you need help, okay? When you first start out as a new grad sonographer, don't be afraid to ask for help. I think that was a big thing for me. I didn't want to ask for help. I didn't want to bother anybody because I know we were all busy and everything. But at the end of the day, like, you know, these patients are our priority. And, you know, we want to make sure that we're getting the images that we need to get. And we're, and we want to make sure that we are answering the questions that the doctors want to know, you know, and I still ask for help. You know, I've been scanning for about a year and a half now. I still ask for help. I have no shame in it because you're not going to know everything. Some of these, depending on where you work, these patients can be really hard, you know, and you can't beat yourself up about it because at the end of the day, all you can do is ask the patient to take a, a deep breath in if they can, see if they can turn, try different windows and, you know, just know that if you've tried everything that you could possibly think of, that's the most important thing because it shows that you care, it shows that you've tried and that, you know, you, you tried your best and that's all that matters. And also um, what I would like to say is about that transition from um, sonography student to new grad sonographer. At times it's gonna feel like you are scanning slow. This is perfectly normal. It happens to all of us. When I first started out scanning, I felt like I was so slow and I was never ever going to get faster. And one thing that helped me a lot was not comparing myself to my other colleagues. Like your colleagues, they have been scanning for years. Of course, they're going to be scanning faster. Like you just started out, like somebody who just started out to somebody who's been scanning for 10 plus years, of course, the person with 10 plus years is going to be scanning faster because they've been in the field longer. But like, don't compare yourself. Like at the end of the day, you just need to get the pictures that you need to get and then answer the doctor's questions. That's it. Don't look at the time. Don't let that discourage you that you're taking a long time. At the end of the day, 
just make sure you got the pictures that you needed okay when we have um new hires coming in and you know i'm like training a new hire and you know they make a comment about how they're slow and everything i say don't even worry about that like you're gonna get faster trust and believe you're gonna get faster the more that you scan you're gonna get faster okay so don't even worry about that right now because in a couple of months you're gonna be like knocking out these exams like crazy so it doesn't even matter and i also want to say that when you start scanning make sure you take care of yourself like make sure you take care of yourself because like when you're in school you know people preach ergonomics ergonomics make sure you're practicing ergonomics that is literally so true because y'all i'm only a year and a half in my career and i'm already starting to feel the aches i'm already starting to feel it so really take care of your body i cannot stress this enough like because in ultrasound you will be in some awkward positions trying to scan patients okay like I know a couple weeks ago, I had a rough couple weeks, you know, whenever I decided to post this video, but I had a rough couple of weeks with my job because I was scanning some hard patients. You know, they, they just couldn't move. They had a bigger body habitus and like, I'm already small as it is, okay? I'm already small as it is. And then scanning like these 500 pound patients, it is not good on my body or my shoulder or my back. You know, so make sure you're taking care of your body and practicing ergonomics as best as you can. If your patient can move, ask them to move. If you need help moving a patient, ask the nurse, ask somebody, can they help you move the patient? Because, you know, these right here, your hands, these are your money makers, all right? Your shoulders, like these are your money makers right here. And you want to if you want to be in this career, in this field long term, you got to make sure that you're protecting your body, okay? Because, like, you will burn out really quick if you don't. You will burn out really quick if you don't. So just make sure you're keeping that in mind, like, when you are scanning a patient. Make sure, you know, you're as close to them as possible. Make sure you're not, like, um, you know, leaned over really weird. Because I find myself, like, in the past... I would notice, okay, I'm like scanning a patient and I see myself doing this. This is really gonna hurt over time, okay? So just really try to keep like your arms and everything really close to your body and make sure you're not leaning because over time, that's gonna hurt and that's gonna cause some problems, okay? Um, but make sure you're taking care of yourself, okay? Because, you know, ultrasound, we need sonographers out there and we can't have sonographers if you're getting injured and, you know, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. I would just like to end this video by just saying, um, when you're in this field, um, make sure you're advocating for yourself. If there's something that you don't understand, ask for help. If you need help with the scan, ask for help. One thing about me that I've come to learn is that like, don't be afraid to ask for help. Like me, I still ask for help. Like there are some scans that like, I don't feel all the way comfortable with but like i'm always willing to try so like say for instance there's a study that comes up on the list and i'm like oof like i don't really know about that i'll ask a colleague i'll google some information and you know if i have an extra set of hands i'm like hey like i'm about to go do this study do you mind just coming with me and just walking me through it because like the way that i think about it as you know we we are here for the patients i just want to make sure i'm doing something right and you know we don't want to take the wrong images or make it seem like there's something wrong with the patient when there really isn't so just make sure you're advocating for yourself and make sure that you're asking for help and just you know it's going to be all right all right that transition it's a little rough at first it's a little rough at first but you know, with time, you're gonna build your confidence and you're gonna be more confident in your abilities as a sonographer and everything is gonna be all right. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye y'all.